the entrance to the studio, Washington Ludasma studio. And the entrance here brings you immediately to a number of paintings. This is a whole rooster corner, a wonderful rooster. And there is a, a very pretty chicken. Let's see what I have. It's a little small chicken and another rooster, I think. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, and then here is Washington's painting about the birth of Coco. And there is a the big fish tile on the wall. So, but that's just the entry here. That's just a small entry area here. And that leads you into a view of the whole studio. And it is amazing the amount of work that's on display. Let me give you a very quick sort of overview for a moment. Good Lord, there are small paintings over there. And then there are lots of different tiles straight ahead. And then over to that corner, some of the amazing big plates that Washington has produced as well as paintings for that corner here. Let's see, we have a cat painting, as well as his fam famous family portrait there. And the quiet girl, <clears throat> Tranquil Hands, which is an old name of Washington's clay company way back when, it was Tranquil Hands, but that's a wonderful expression of Tranquil Hands. And then in the corner, there's more movement and music. Clearly we have uh, different kinds of music here. Uh, and there is, this is a painting that Washington loves. He thinks it's one of the best paintings he has. A uh, little seated girl. And here's one of his boats. This is a cat boat he made as a matter of fact for last year's show at the Sculpin Gallery in Edgartown. So it was a cat boat. And there's one of his masks and one of his lamps. I mean, he is so versatile. There is so much here. Let's see, let me take some step back so that you can see really sort of what is all on the wall there. There, <clears throat> and there's one, the uh, octopus. He loves octopi. And octopuses, it's octopuses, not octopi. But anyway, and they're happy turtles. And so, and down below there are healing stones and I see mugs and large bowls and a number of vases there at the bottom. And that sort of goes to a large painting as well as his little man. It's an extraordinary little man. And that's a totally new piece right on the floor there. It's sort of, it's interest. It's an interesting piece what he has on, what he has on there. Ah, and so and then we have a fish wall, fish, different kinds of fish, but it's broken up by a uh, <laughs> giraffe in the middle of fish. Anyway, so here is a quick view of all the different paintings he has on the wall on that side. And that doesn't say anything yet about the shells, because let me take you through these shells for a moment and everything that's on there. Absolutely lovely vases and animals and mugs and bowls. And then here we have another, the bathers on top of Washington's famous bathers, beautiful plate. And so then there's the black and white right there. Oh, and then totally at the bottom are sort of the second set of pieces that sort of didn't quite make it. But anyway, um, on the uh, top, this is all new, look at this. These very tiny little pieces, black and white, most of them, with little etchings in back. And there's a teapot, any potter's achievement, teapots. I don't know whether you noticed there was a teapot on the other side, it was a very big, big teapot, anyway. So, and there's a shelf, there's another lamp, and there's a wonderful triptych on top. Oh, look at that triptych. 
It, the box closes, so there's a tree of life and Adam and Eve. It's a beautiful piece. And so <clears throat> we have plates and more bowls and things, and then some wooden pieces. These little guys, these are, little, these are all wooden guys that Washington has to do. He, he created all the wooden guys, he was put them together. Uh, and so, up to Daisy, there he is. And then, uh, totally amazing here, I do love these. I'm not really sure what they are. They're tiles, I would say. They're just tiles. And something didn't quite work in terms of the glazing, even though they're totally glazed. But they are absolutely, they're just gorgeous. The expressions are just wonderful, the mothers and the babies. Oh, so and then we just have a whole basket with these tiles. I mean, oh, these are sort of all to go, some small paintings and tiles. And so anybody can pick anything up out of this basket for $10 a piece. I mean, hey. So really, plate of the dancers, wonderful. And oh, I didn't show you yet. The owls, this is a whole row of owl tiles. Wise old owls, not necessarily old, but certainly they're wonderful. And then I already showed you tile wall, sort of a glance of the tile wall. These are all tiles here. And then he has some more paintings on this side. Let me show you some of the Again, the theme of the mother and the children. Not only that though, there's also really a pan. And that was a painting he did for Ukraine. Yeah. And then here's his glass case that has, there are some wonderful ukuleles that he worked at. And this is a bit funny because there's a mirror sitting in back here. So you're going to get a lot of double images, but Anyway, so he's been decorating musical instruments as well as a pair of wooden shoes here. I think these were my old wooden shoes at some point or another. And oh, this is what he's been doing also. I mean, these, these baseballs. I mean, <laughs> and of course, then we'll end up here with the pig. There's a very nice little pig sitting up here. Anyway, it is just, it, there it are so many wonderful, beautiful things here. Anybody interested, find Washington Ledesma, MV, uh, dot com. That is his website, and there's more information about him. The website needs a bit more updating. But anyway, that's where you can get more information about Washington Ledesma, L-E-D-E-S-M-A. MV, for stands for Martha's Vineyard, MV.com.